Good afternoon, welcome to Jim Monley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for December 23rd through January 4th. For December 23rd to the 27th, the pattern features a strong ridge here across Alaska. And this ridge here is forecast to lift northwards north of Alaska. And we have above normal heights over the, uh, the North Pacific. And we have a trough that's forecast for Canada and to the central U.S. This is over the west. It'll transverse here. Here's our ridge here current uh, at the beginning of the period. And a trough from Alaska into central U.S. Above normal heights are forecast across the high latitudes. You'll see that as we go through the period. So what we're looking here now is a GFS. And we go through the period. You see the ridge. You see the ridge here begin to lift north and slightly to the east. And we go to the period. Now you see we have our trough here. So I sink south. We have above normal heights here. And we come to the 27th. We're at the 26th. And this is how the pattern looks like. Now snow is forecast. Oh, we got to look at the rest of the models. We're rushing here a little bit. We'll take a look at the rest of the models. They're in general agreement on this. So during this period, snow is forecast for a portion of the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes over the weekend. Snow is also forecast for New England. Heavy rain is forecast for the Tennessee Valley and to other parts of the Ohio Valley, which is not getting snow. And now here is where um, some uncertainty um, exists as we get towards Christmas. A uh, frontal wave might develop along the southeast and middle Atlantic coast Sunday and Monday. And this forecast to spread organized precipitation from the Carolinas northward. At the um, present time, the low-level thermal profiles uh, remain somewhat uncertain, but the potential exists for winter weather, uh, for wintry weather, especially for the Appalachian, the interior middle Atlantic, and the northeast. And uh, taking a look at other models, like it's also showing maybe a uh, changeover to other parts closer to the to the uh, coast at the end of this uh, system. Okay, now the forecast for December 26th and 30th. Here we are at the 27th. We have our ridge now. You can see the ridge axis is north here. Above normal heights across this area. Above normal heights here. Now, these um, uh, pots of height anomalies are forecast to consolidate over east, north Pacific, over the North Pacific and across the polar region and will contribute, across, uh, contribute to a trough here across the east central U.S. And we have above normal heights here. So, this is quite a wintry uh, pattern setting up here. And we now we're going to go to the end of the period here. And you can see this trough kind of like pushes eastward. Strong positive height anomalies here. This is a GFS. And then we'll take a look at the other models. They're fairly similar. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for a vast area of the nation. Look at these anomalies, some 24 degrees above normal. But uh, for now, I'm saying 6 to 12 degrees below normal, and we have above normal temperatures for the southwest and portions of the southeast. I think this is a little overdone here with the cold, but I think the southeast might still have below normal temperatures. I mean, above normal temperatures, and I'm forecasting anomalies in both places would be about 2 to 6 degrees above normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation here probability of occurrence is 30 to 55 percent and above normal precipitation for this area here probability of occurrence is 30 to 55 percent now the period for December 31st through January 4th gotta slide this over a little bit I'm having um,
about where I left off here. I had that was something important I had to take. Um, okay, we're gonna go here to the fourth, and you can see that uh, the trough slice eastward still have a strong ridge here along the west. The GFS, and we look at the other models; they're in good agreement on this. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures continuing for a large area of the nation. Forecast anomalies uh, being more than six degrees below normal, above normal temperatures forecast for the southwest with anomalies of four to six degrees above normal. And for precipitation, below normal precipitation is forecast for here. Probability of occurrence is 30%. Above normal precipitation is forecast for this area here. And the probability of occurrence is up to 55%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for December 23rd through January 4th. Thanks for coming to Jim Monday's World of Weather and have a good day.